In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make three pricing options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will reveal the first plan. You can see here the plan one with the detailed description and what is the price. And I've given the color as green. And on the second click, it will show me the plan two with the blue color and the price is $50. And then on third click, it will give me the plan three with price of $100. And if you want, you can just change the color to silver, bronze or gold or whatever, depending on your uh, requirement. I have made another slide with a slightly bigger options you can see here. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle. Uh, depending on your requirement, you can adjust the size. Maybe I'm just going to take this much. Shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. Uh, for the time being, I'm just going to change the color to light gray color. Then add two more uh, rectangles on top, one on top. You can see here and again shape outline make it no outline and you can just select some different color and then i'm just going to add one at the bottom press ctrl d and add at the bottom here you can see here then i'm just going to insert shapes and from basic shapes i'm going to select a parallelogram draw a parallelogram maybe this much size you can see here and later on we can adjust it and then let me just increase the size and i want to give some uh, a custom shape to this one first of all i'm going to make it no outline then right mouse click say edit points and then you can just adjust it you can see the top point you can just drag it here this you can drag it further this i can drag it somewhat up and this one i can just make it something like this so whichever way you can feel uh, this shape you can just adjust it with this particular points so i got this particular shape I'm just placing it here and then go to insert shapes select a triangle I'm going to draw a triangle give some dark color shape outline make it no outline rotate and just say flip horizontal and place it here you can see here just place it here you can let me just zoom in you can see here I'll just put it exactly and then reduce the size and with this orange point you can just adjust it so i just make it more this side and then i'll just say send back and this color also for this shape also i'm just going to give some different color you can see here but this is not visible so i'm just going to make it uh, format shape and give some darker shade to it if you want you can just add the gradient fill also so you can see here i've just added this one later on i can change any color i want i'm going to select this shape and going to give a gradient fill type i'm going to select linear and i'm just going to use two stops only you can see here one at the dark and one at the the light color so and then i can just go and check how i want i want dark to be down or dark to be up whichever way you can just select this one maybe i want the dark up here you can see here it's more darker i can just adjust this one also if you want you can give some a uh, shadow effect here and this one i'm just going to give a very light uh, outlines so you can see here something like this and then i'm just going to add the text here and if you want increase the size you feel that the size is not enough you can just increase also simple and i can just bring it down so whichever based on your requirement you can adjust it so let me just add the text i'll just say this is my plan one center align increase the size 
I'm going to change the font to Century Gothic. I'll make it bold and I'm going to place it here on top of this. And if you want, you can just change the color to white also. And then here below, I want to add the pricing for that. Again, go to text box. I will just say price. Again, if you want, we can give white color, the same Century Gothic I'm going to give. Control D to duplicate and here I'm just going to type the price, write a line and just say $25 for example. And just make it bold and increase the size. So plan one is $25 and here you can just add more detailed text here. So whatever if you want you can just say item 01 you want you can add the table also it's up to you uh, depending on your requirement and below i'm just going to add some detailed text and both of these i'm just going to select and give the same font which is century gothic uh, reduce the size you can make this as bold and put it here and the color you can use some dark gray color so this is item one press ctrl d to duplicate i'll bring it here this is item two again ctrl d this is item three so i can just go and change it or if you feel that table using the table also you can just go simple insert table also you can do it so Whichever way you feel better, you can just add it. And then I'm just going to select this and press Ctrl G to group it. So you can see here, uh, the first design is ready. Now, before adding the next plan, you can just group this and you can give some animation to it. I'll just select the text and this by holding the Shift key, press Ctrl G to group it. And you can see it has come front. I need to send this to back. And this also I've already grouped and this bottom, the price and the green box. I'm just going to press Ctrl G. So, and I can use a simple animation to it. So I can just go to animations. First of all, add animation, go to more entrance effects. I'm going to use stretch for this one. You can see here and the effect options I'll say from top. You can see it comes like this. I'll enable the animation pane and then I want this one to come which is a wipe effect. You can see here I'll just say from top this should be after previous and this also I'll just put wipe and I will say this is from bottom and this should happen also after previous. So if I play it comes something like this you can see here and then if you want you can just add the text you can use the same effect which is i have used the stretch and from top and i'll say this after previous and this also i can just simply add animation which is i will say peek in and i will say from top and this should also happen after previous so if i play so it comes something like this so I'm going to make another plan. First of all, I will just select or I can just press Ctrl A also and I'll move it a little bit this side and press Ctrl D to duplicate it and bring the other side. You can see here, I'll just put it here, go to format, just send to back. So it comes something like this. If you want I can just move a little bit here also and again press Ctrl D move this one here and this also just sent to back now this is my plan 2 this is my plan 3 and I'm going to change the price from 25 to 50 and from 25 to 100 I'll increase the size you can see here 
and then it's easy for me to just go and change the color whichever color which i like i can just go and choose you can see here so this one and i'm just going to select maybe a blue color or you can use silver gold or a different colors and this also you can just select the same color maybe some darker color you can see here and this also i can just come and select some other color and this i'm going to select so likewise you can just change the color according to your requirement and if i play it comes something like this you can see here so just change the color as per your requirement That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.